20 children aged between six and seven were murdered by a lunatic with a semi-automatic rifle. Alex Jones told his many followers within a few hours it was all a hoax, a government hoax, a deep state plot to justify seizing guns. He said that the grieving families were actors. The general public doesn't know the school was actually closed the year before. They don't know they've shielded all, demolished the building. They don't know that uh, they had the kids going in circles in and out of the building as a photo op, blue screen, green screens. But it took me about a year with Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake. I mean, even I couldn't believe it. I knew they jumped on it, used the crisis, hyped it up. But then I did deep research, and my gosh, it just pretty much didn't happen. Well, it did happen. Those children did get murdered. They were riddled with bullets by an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. I can't even imagine, as a father of four kids, what that sight must have looked like. Those parents had to see their children riddled with bullets. And then they had to put up with years of harassment and threats and disgraceful incidents because Alex Jones fueled a conspiracy theory almost immediately that the whole thing was fake and that these parents who were grieving for their dead children, that they were actors. I have made my views clear about that. But I also think that it's right that I should interview him tonight. Uh, he wanted to come on and talk to me and to explain what's gone down here and where he's found himself, which is facing a $1.5 billion dollar payout to the families uh, in various lawsuits that they took. And I do believe that people should be allowed to express themselves as long as they're held to account and they're challenged on that. And that's what we're going to do tonight with Alex Jones.